welcome to my channel. I love to upcycle and I'm going to be showing on this frumpy old sweatshirt three different techniques. You don't necessarily have to do them all in the same sweatshirt, but it just gives you some fun ideas on how to jazz up something of your own. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop this with some elastic. First of all, I'm going to mark with a straight pin about where I want it to be, which would be on me probably about right here. And then I am going to go down an inch and a quarter to cut. Okay, so here is where my pin is. I'm going to measure down one inch and a quarter and take a piece of chalk and make a mark there. So there's my mark. Now I'm going to measure from the bottom up to that mark from the bottom of the sweatshirt and I have three and three-fourths inches. So I'm just going to go around from the bottom of my sweatshirt and mark three and three-fourths inches. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, now that I have all my marks on both sides of the sweatshirt, I'm going to separate these two and I'm just going to follow these marks. Some people just cut without marking it, but I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up if I do that. So I'll just cut all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my sweatshirt inside out. And I am going to fold this up. Okay, so I made a little mistake. I thought my elastic was one inch, but it's actually one and a quarter. So folding this up one and a quarter won't work. I'm going to have to fold it up one and a half. And I have plenty of room there. I was generous when I measured with my pin. So I'm going to fold mine up one and a half inches and pin all the way around. So let's see. One and a half inches would be about... there and then I'm just going to stick a pin in there and I'm going to do that all the way around okay now that I have this pinned all the way around one and a half inches up I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch maybe about a little less than a quarter of an inch down all the way around except in the back middle, I'm going to leave about a one inch gap open. So I'm going to start sewing here and I'm going to end up right over here on this side. That'll give us room to put our elastic in there. Okay, so now I have my little pocket sewn in at the bottom. And what I need to do now is figure out how long I want my elastic to be that's going to go in that pocket. And what I do is just take one end and measure around my waist where I want it to be. And I'm not gonna pull it tight or anything. I just want it to be comfortable Just fits comfortably it's not too loose it's not too tight and this is where my mark would be and I'm gonna add an extra quarter to a half an inch probably in between there to sew that together so my mark will be there and I'm gonna cut it right there so there's my elastic and now I need to feed it through my sweatshirt Okay, so now what I'm going to do 
is remember we left that little space open so we can fit our elastic through. I'm gonna take a giant safety pin. And there are tools for this, but I don't have one because I don't really do it enough. If I did this a lot, I would probably invest in one. And I am just gonna work this through. Where'd my, there's my gap. I am just gonna work this through that gap. And you just, this might take a little bit of time depending on how tight your elastic is. You just push it through and you pull and you keep pulling. Just make sure when you get in really far that your elastic doesn't start going through. Make sure it stays outside of this hole when you're nearing the end. Okay, so now that we have the elastic fed all the way through, and it's coming out that little hole we saved. I'm going to remove my safety pin. And I'm going to go to my machine. And I'm going to overlap this. And I am just going to stitch the heck out of it. Maybe back and forth like 10 times. Okay, I have that stitched. Now I'm just going to work with my elastic and get it inside there which will mean kind of pushing some of these pleats over. Okay, so now that we have the elastic all tucked inside our hem, I'm gonna go back to the machine one last time and I'm gonna just sew that little piece that I left open, sew it completely closed and then it'll be done. That part of it anyway. Okay, so Here's the sweatshirt cropped with elastic. I told you I was going to do three things, so that was the first, shorten it. And now what I'm going to do is do some fun decorative uh, cutting on the side and then a little weaving. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sweatshirt and I'm just going to lay it flat. And there is a seam on the bottom of the arm, on mine and most, and I just kind of make sure that that's flat so that I have a nice even surface on both sleeves so they match. And so at the very top of the sleeve by the collar, I'm gonna make a little cut with a very sharp scissors. And it's only going to be about three quarters of an inch long but the rest will be an inch, I'll show you. Now, from that cut all the way down, the rest of my cuts are going to be about one inch long and about one inch apart. And you can mark this with a piece of chalk if you want, if you want to measure and be super precise, but I just eyeball it. So this cut is going to be one inch, but it's actually going to be two inches because our sleeve is doubled. And I will just cut one inch, about one inch apart, all the way down the sleeve. Till I get to the cuff. And then I'm going to stop right above the cuff with another small cut, like three fourths of an inch. And I'm going to do Okay, so here I have the sleeves all cut on both sides. And what I'm gonna do next is just stretch those little pieces out. I want them to be a little bit thinner than they are and they'll stretch out. And I'm just gonna see how nice they're already looking. I'll just play with this and do both sides and get those little pieces stretched out so I can work with them. I'm going to do a little weaving technique. Okay, so now we have those all stretched out. And the next thing I'm going to do is that very bottom slit that you made that I said to make small, actually make that bigger. And that very last strip I'm going to cut in half. 
very last one. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, so I have this little hole at the top. I'm gonna take this piece, hold it out, and then the piece below it, I'm gonna go under and pull it up. And then the next piece, I'll go under that loop and pull it up. And I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way down. Take the next strip, go under, pull it up. See, we're starting to get kind of a braided effect there. And I'm going to do that all the way down. And I'll show you what I do when I get to the very bottom. Okay, so here I am at the very bottom, my very last loop. And then I have this cut loop. I'm gonna stick one end through there, one half of that cut loop, and then I'm just going to double knot it right here. I made them kind of small. I could have cut that a little bigger. Okay. So I'm going to do that to the other arm. Okay, so I got the other arm done and what I'm going to do now is hold on to the bottom and the top and I'm going to give it a good stretch. And there we've got a little embellishment on the sleeve. And we've got it cropped. And now what we're going to do is tie dye it. Now, I um, I usually only tie dye like 100% or close to 100% natural synthetic or natural materials like cotton or silk or linen. Um, this is 95% cotton and I'm gonna bleach tie dye it and hopefully it'll turn out good since it's only 5% spandex and mostly cotton so I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay so I'm going to prep this to bleach tie dye and what I'm going to do is just take a little piece I'm going to kind of make my swirl off center and I'm going to take it the very not the very center of the sweatshirt but off center and I'm just going to start twisting. And I'm just going to bring the sleeve in with it. And I'm just going to keep twisting till it's nice and tight. And then I use hair ties because my other rubber bands are too weak. And I'm just going to put you know, kind of a wheel spoke sort of pattern with my rubber bands. So, let's get it into a nice clump. Oh, that one broke. And I'm probably going to add about two more onto here. Okay, now that I have this into a nice tight little ball, I'm gonna take it into the laundry room and show you how to bleach it. Okay, so I poured straight bleach into a squirt bottle. Um, some people like to dilute it, afraid that it'll eat the clothes. I really haven't had any issues with that. The only thing is it dye, it colors the fabric really fast when it's straight bleach and you have to rinse it out really fast or it will start eating through your fabric. Okay, so now I'm just going to start squirting the bleach on. I'm gonna turn it over. You can get it as saturated as you want. Sometimes I find it gets over bleached, over patterned if you 
put too much on and saturate it too much at all. It, you don't get that big contrast when too much is one color. Okay, so now I'm going to let that sit until I start seeing it bleach. I'll let you know how long when we get to that point. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and if pure bleach on 100% natural fabric clearly would have, you would have clearly seen the signs of bleaching by now. And since this is 5% spandex, like I feared, it didn't bleach. But I'm going to go ahead and remove the band, the rubber bands, rinse as much bleach out of it as I can. I'm going to wash it and dry it. Then I'm going to try it on for you and show you what the finished product looks like with the cropping and then the decorative sleeves. Okay, here it is all finished. And it did bleach. After all, it just wasn't real high contrast, but nothing wrong with subtleness, subtlety. Very cute. You know, um, I cut the sleeves and I'm thinking after I see it all finished, we could have probably cut these cuffs all the way down because it left kind of a gappy hole but maybe if we had cut all the way down and done it to the end, it would have turned out a little better. But I'll just cuff them and hide that hole.